Gonna hit the shop in a minute. First, got some mail. No idea. About to find out. Ah, safety glasses. It must be a hint. Hey bud, I sent you these safety glasses. They're supposed to help from fogging up. Just want to say thank you for the cool vids. I don't have any stickers to send you. I'm in the process of building Mark 7 FD. I'm guessing Formula, Formula Drift. I'll eventually have stickers and start my YouTube channel. Best regards, Irving. Appreciate it, Irving. Clear anti-fog lens. This one is from Build Machine and Fabrication McLean Racing Products. Right on. Shot us some stickers. I looked these guys up a little bit just based on the names on the box. And they make billet injectors. Really nice racing billet injectors. You can go find them at dragracinginjectors.com. Incredible pieces of uh, manufacturing marvel. Really good stuff. I'd actually love to have some on the goose. Right on, appreciate the stickers, fellas. I'll definitely hang them in the shop. If you want to send me something, I'm still accepting stickers. Send your shop sticker to me. I'll hang it up in the shop. So far, I've just been putting them on pieces of equipment so they show up in the videos. If you want to send me something, send it to address, that address right there, the Fab Forms at P.O. Box 622, West Union, South Carolina, 29696. Listen, this works both ways. I try to support you guys too. Send me your stickers, send me your parts. If you got a tool you want in a Friday video, send me a tool, I'll check it out. Anyway, thanks again, fellas. Appreciate it. Been, uh, been pretty rear and intensive the last two episodes, so gonna mix it up a little bit today. Gonna work on the intake. Brandon's still not in the car, but I'll get to it. My buddy Scott just texted me and said that uh, he's at his shop, so I'm gonna run a piece over there that I got a mill for the intake, and then we're gonna make some custom pieces later for the fuel rails. Figured I would do a quick shark hide update for you guys, though. I don't know, I'd say it's holding up pretty good. If uh, you knew the channel, hadn't seen the shark hide video, I'll put a card right up here. All right, really quick, what I'm gonna be working on today, the spacer needs to be milled a little bit for the actual throttle blade uh, lever to pass through, and then I'm gonna mill this little section out here for the throttle cable itself. I'm gonna make some standoffs for these fuel rails, and then actually probably make some kind of piece that ties it into the intake bolts, mainly because the last thing you want is these things to lift off the injectors under some heavy boost and have fuel spray out under the hood definitely a fire gonna happen and uh, the amount of fuel that comes out you burn one of these to the ground so that's what we're working on today This is done, looks pretty good. There's a couple of things I'm gonna go ahead here and touch up. The idea behind this, milling this plate out, so basically what I've done is there's a recessed area here and just milled out a section that goes through to that recessed area. That's on the back side and then on the front side, just milled out a small section up front. I just wanted to reduce the thickness of the plate up here for 
the uh, air temp sensor, and then in the back, this is so I got clearance for the throttle body arm to swing. Let me show you. So when I put the throttle body on the lower piece here, before it was actually gonna hit, but now it's got clearance. And then the hole on the side is just for the cable to run through. So it's a pretty trick little deal. Hopefully it'll work. A lot of times when you're coming up with crazy ideas like this, sometimes they just don't work. Actually, most of the time they don't work. But when they do work, it makes something pretty cool. And then the idea is that Sweet, it should work pretty good. I'm not gonna fool with it anymore, just gonna do a little fine massaging around that part to make it work. The front's gonna work now for the air temp sensor. The only thing I gotta do is pull the intake totally off and make those uh, tie downs for the fuel rails. Just be able to knock those out. Show you something cool right quick. Phone was blowing up. Guess me and Finnegan gonna do a collab video and I'd love to go bead roll some stuff for the blasphemy or or the boat whatever or just make some videos So the idea here is I'm going to tie the bolt that basically holds the fuel rail in to the bolt that holds the intake down. So when I bolt the intake onto the engine, I'll, ba I'll basically put these in place, run the intake bolts in there, and then fuel rails and injectors will go on with uh, the bolt that runs through this. Now what this is going to do is this is going to keep this fuel rail from coming up any. And under boost and stuff. It's pretty critical that you make sure these things don't move. There's a lot of pressure on there. You got the fuel pressure plus the boost trying to push the injector out. And you got all kinds of forces going on here. And that thing wherever ever pop off going down the track or, you know, under boost, it'd just spray fuel everywhere and it, it wouldn't be a good deal. This intake, I actually bought it the way that it is. Not a very good design. I probably should have just went ahead and bought another one because it's more trouble than it's worth. Might have to go through and plug these upper injector ports. Probably just uh, tap them and then put in like a pipe thread plug or something. And then I gotta fix all this stuff that I'm fixing right now and so it's really just a pain. But I got it and hopefully it won't be too bad. Well, that's pretty much it. Not a perfect scenario, but it's a good one. And uh, it'll work, at least for now. Next time you see this thing, hopefully it'll be going on the goose, it'll be finished. I'll have all these plugged, have these finished and painted. See you guys tomorrow.